welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel i'm marguerite welcome so nice to meet you guys thank you for clicking on this video so obviously if you're clicking on this video you are interested in the ordinary skincare products they are probably one of the hottest new skincare lines to launch it launched it launched this past fall i believe in september and i also have another ordinary haul video it's not a review or anything i'm just showing you what products i got so if you're interested in seeing that you can click below, which brings me to the point of this video. I got more products. So I've really been impressed with this line and I just want to check all the products out. So far, a quick recap. I got the Matrixyl, the Hyaluronic Acid, the Rosehip Seed Oil, and the Buffet Serum, and then the Caffeine Eye Solution. So that was my previous video. So I do have a facial routine video where I'm using some of the products if you want to see how I use them and my skincare, but I'm still waiting a couple weeks to give you just an honest review of all these products because it's really good to try products out for a good month, like four to six weeks before you really give a review on them, just to really see how your skin reacts to them and handles them and to see if you do have any improvement in your skin and how to see if you notice a difference. So I will be doing a review for you and demonstration of these new products. So again, I'm just gonna show you what I have and tell you how I'm gonna use them in my skincare line. So this isn't a review that will be coming. So let's get started. Oh, nicely packaged. I also got, so I ordered these from, I ordered these from DCM.com. They say they're the abnormal beauty company, so they have a scientific approach to their skincare. And they have at least eight other brands on their website. So I got a couple other brands too, which I can show you at the end. That's what these are. These are by Niod, N-I-O-D, Niod, which was very difficult to figure out what products I wanted. But if you read the descriptions, you can figure it out. But some of them are very scientific. So I'll tell you those at the end. You're probably just interested in this, the ordinary, you know, that's what I would be interested in. Look at those video. All right, so getting started. Um, a first product is the niacinamide, did I say that right? Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. So this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So that's why I got this. This is supposed to be really good if you have blemishes, if you have sunspots, age spots. I don't plan on using this all over my face. I plan on using this as a spot treatment. So I have a couple pimples that I popped like a good month ago and they still, they've just been so slow to heal and you know, if you pop pimples, they can scar. You're not supposed to pop pimples on your own, but I was too tempted. <laughs> so this is a good spot treatment and it can help fade the scar. So this is very good if you have scarring or acne scars or blemishes. So I love their packaging. It's just, they're all in glass bottles with little droppers. So this looks like a clear, kind of thick formula. It, it looks like the Hyaluronic, their buffet, and the Matrixol formula. But it says, apply to entire face morning and evening before heavier creams. So you definitely can apply this all over your face, especially if you have lots of pimples or acne. But I'm going to use this as a spot treatment. This is going to be one of the last products I put on my face. So, so far I've been washing my face and then I'll apply an essence and then I'll apply usually the ordinary buffet, either the buffet or the Matrixol. I've been doing the buffet in the evening and then the Matrixol in the morning time and I'll follow the Matrixol with the hyaluronic acid. But the evening time I'll use the buffet and then I'll use the rosehip seed oil and then I'll apply my moisturizer and then this on top, just a spot treatment. I may even do this before moisturizer, but I just got this to use a spot treatment. Again, you can apply that all over your face if you want. Why do I keep hearing babies crying? Next product is the Azalic Acid Suspension 10% Multifunctional Brightening Formula. So that's what this is. This is supposed to be a very good gentle brightener, kind of exfoliate your skin, help turn over your skin cells and just help you have a more brighter appearance. So it says a stable azalic acid suspension. I personally have no idea what azalic acid is, but I think it's kind of up there with mandelic acid and alpha hydraulic, AHAs and lactic acid it's supposed to be one of the more gentle acids and I think this is even more gentle than that. Fragrance free, apply to face AM and or PM to improve visible brightness and the appearance of skin texture. So I'll have to see how I, right now I've been using the Sunday Riley Good Jeans and I feel like I might interchange this with that, but I will figure this out and let you know how I want to apply this. Let's see, I love smelling products, but I like the, packaging it's very sleek very good 
Let's see what this looks like. I don't want to waste too much, you know? So it's white. Can you see that? It doesn't really have a scent. Maybe the slightest scent of Elmer's school glue. Yeah, actually, I don't know. It's pretty scent free and it feels pretty moisturizing. So I'll look into that. Maybe I will even apply this in the evening. It says it really can be either or. I don't know. Maybe I'll even interchange, maybe apply this in the evening and interchange it with my retinol because I, I like to apply a retinol at least twice a week. Now I'm going to do some research and figure it out. And again, I will do an updated review slash demonstration for you. I'm just showing you what products I got and how I think I'm going to use them. But obviously I need to educate myself some more next product the magnesium absorbable phosphate 10% a brightening hydrator with stabilized vitamin C derivative so this has the vitamin C derivative I would apply this personally in the morning I love applying my vitamin C products in the morning rather than evening but personal preference honestly some people say apply them in the evening so that the Sun doesn't damage the performance of it but I have an other vitamin C products that say apply it in the morning because it helps boost Sun protection so I don't know supposed to be a brightening hydrator with stabilized vitamin C it says apply a small amount of this cream formula to face AM and PM after application of water-based serum so looks like this would be one of the last things in your routine before sunscreen of course so this looks just like the azaleic acid it feels very hydrating so i believe this is a moisturizer it has you know basic scent my hands are going to be nice and anti-aged now but it feels very moisturizing and i guess i would apply that on top of my serums so next I have the retinol 1% a stable emulsion of retinol so I'm very excited for this product I always apply retinol in the evening and it says apply a small amount to face in the p.m. do not use with other retinoid treatments and use sun protection in the morning because it does make your skin more sensitive and more prone to sun damage and if irritation occurs reduce application to every other day and consider the less irritating advanced retinoid 2% from the ordinary oh I guess the other one is less irritating because that is in like a, a gel serum form whereas this isn't it just doesn't have that so I guess this is their stronger retinol and usually how I apply a retinol is I'll wash my face. Washing your face can irritate your skin. You know, you don't realize you're rubbing so that can irritate your skin process. So it's good to let it sit after you wash your face. Don't put anything on. Let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. And I know that might feel uncomfortable or dry, but that's what you're supposed to do because you don't want anything interfering or interacting with the retinoid or retinol. So then I apply this after 15 minutes and then you want to wait 15 to 30 minutes after you apply the retinol or retinoid to then apply your moisturizer or oil and that's supposed to make sure you get the maximum benefit and of the retinoid and also other products maybe if it is too strong then you can apply your moisturizer before or even after because that will just dilute it and make it not as strong but yeah i'm excited to try this out i'll definitely keep it posted how i like that then I got the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. This is my second one purchasing. And I would say this is definitely my favorite ordinary product so far. It's rose hip seed oil is so moisturizing and nourishing on the skin, especially if you have acne prone skin, you definitely can use this. I have very acne prone skin and I, I find that my skin just drinks this up. This is one of the last products I apply and I apply this before my moisturizer. So you can see that this is this isn't clear. This has a more yellowy tint to it. The smell might be very odd for some of you. I find that it kind of smells like fish oil. So it just says high purity, sustainably sourced, organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I think people expect rose hip seed oil to smell like roses, but it does not. It smells like fish oil. And I think this is definitely one of their greatest products that makes the biggest difference because I have acne prone dehydrated skin and my skin just drinks itself. It just feels so much more moisturized and plump, especially the next day. So I really like applying this after all my products because I feel like it just seals it all in and helps when I'm sleeping, helps prevent my products from wearing away like I'm on pillowcase. They say the top two layers are the ones that go while you sleep. So <laughs> you could even apply this several times if you want, but. I highly recommend the rosehip seed oil to anyone and everyone. Next, I have the lactic acid 5% plus hyaluronic acid 2%. And I love lactic acid. I know acids might sound scary if you're new to acids, but this is definitely one of the more gentle ones. This looks like it has a slight pinkish orange tint to it. I wonder what it smells like. Ooh, kind of smells sweet. Almost like 
cotton candy. I was not expecting that. But this is with alpha hydroxy acid and hyaluronic acid. Apply once per day, ideally in the PM. Good to know. Good to know. It can be diluted with other treatments to reduce strength until skin develops tolerance. So sunburn alert, this product contains an alpha hydroxy acid that may increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun and particularly the possibility of sunscreen. So use, use sunscreen. So lactic acid, alpha hydroxy acid, just letting this hang out on my shoulder. A mild lactic acid superficial peeling formula. So this is definitely something I would alternate with the retinol. So one night I'll apply the retinol and I like to apply retinols two to three times per night. And then the night side I'm not applying the retinol, I'll apply this. And this is supposed to be a very good exfoliator. And I don't know, I'm curious to see if this does give my skin a slight peeling because it says a peeling formulation so i guess this is supposed to slightly be a good skin peel and make your outermost layer your dead skin and hair and debris that's on the outer layer of your skin to just kind of lightly peel off so i wonder if you physically see something i'm curious sometimes you don't actually physically see a peeling but this is supposed to be a very good exfoliator you don't like rub it in. I think you just apply it as a serum and then let it work its magic. So on night set I do this. Usually I don't apply anything before. Like I'll apply an essence before and then this just so that I don't dilute it. But if it is too strong then they say you can apply a serum or something beforehand. And then after I'd apply the, I'd probably wait like 15 minutes and then apply the rose hip seed oil and then just a very light moisturizer. But I'm excited to try this out and see if it really does peel my skin and just give it more of a softer glow. Because it's very good to exfoliate and seems like that's a very good formula to exfoliate. So lastly, this isn't, okay, th that's all for the ordinary. Now I got a couple more products from from their website, the DCM website. This is by the Chemistry brand, and this is the Retin Oil Pro Repair Body Oil for scars, stretch marks, and daily care. I have some stretch marks on my stomach. I've had two kids, and although I love them dearly and love being pregnant, I'm definitely not the type that bounces back. Definitely not the type that can be seen in a bikini ever again because I have stretch marks, saggy skin there, but whatever. <laughs> so this is a retinal oil that's supposed to help stretch marks. Unfortunately, stretch marks are hereditary, so I don't know if this will help, but we'll see. A highly concentrated dry body oil combines next generation anti-aging retinoid complex, 1%. Vitamin C and E, skin enhancing Amazonian oils, ooh, and deep sea red algae to target scars, stretch marks, cellulite, dehydrated areas, and discoloration. So I'm gonna keep you posted on that if that actually helps my stretch marks. And then by the brand Neod, I got photography fluid opacity 12%. Apply instead of or under liquid foundation to balance out undesirable color tones. I have redness, so let's hope it does that. And skin imperfections, this formula can also be mixed with other products. Very cool. I'm not good at opening this stuff. Okay, so, oh, also in a glass jar with a dropper, which I love. Wow. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's white and creamy. Looks like this is really gonna help cover up redness. So that's very white and creamy, but it looks like it blends out. Obviously it won't leave a white cast on your face, but looks like that will really help cover up discoloration and redness, which I have a lot of redness, so I'm very excited to try this out. Oh my goodness, I'm excited for that. And then I have the hydration vaccine. I have very dehydrated skin. This is supposed to be amazing. This was definitely the priciest product oh by the way the ordinary products are all very affordable no products over $15 I forget what the most expensive product is but this Neod brand is more pricey and expensive I think this hydration vaccine was like $60 and that's definitely one of the most expensive items on their website so here it is Oh, and it's in a glass jar, which I love, and it looks like it's darker so that it protects it from sun damage, and very interesting. It looks like a yellowish toned clear gel, but it looks like it is just packed with goodies. 
So it had a yellowy, creamy tint to it. I wonder what all is in here. I'm very excited to try that, and it's supposed to just be very gentle and very hydrating for dehydrated, dry, dry, dry skin. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And then lastly, I got by the brand Fountain these supplements, which um, I've been trying them out for a week. I don't know if I've necessarily noticed a difference, but I got the Super Green Molecule. Take one teaspoon. Uh, this is kiwi flavor. I usually mix these in with my juice drinks that I try to have every morning. It says chlorophyll and hyaluronic acid. And then this is the Beauty Molecule Extra Strength with Reservatrol, which is found in red wine and Japanese knotwood. So this is very good for your skin and to help you have a glow. And then Water Matrix, the catalyst that makes Reservatrol soluble in water. And then I got the Energy Molecule, which is the B vitamin. High dose of B12, which this has helped with my energy. I think I don't get enough of B12 because I try to not eat meat. So this is very important for that reason. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this haul and let me know if you'd like to see any other products or have me try them out. I'll keep you posted with a review and demonstration video down the road but thank you guys for watching and if you could hit the subscribe button that would be great and mean a lot to me but I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!